Good morning everyone. This short video will talk you through a guide to the module materials for the module Introducing Person-Centred Practice. You're coming to University Centre Blackburn College to study for your foundation degree in counselling. It's great to have you here. And it's great to have you here in midweek on a Wednesday. We're looking forward to meeting you and journeying through the year with you. But you know, being at um, university following a foundation degree course isn't all about sitting in a classroom on a Wednesday. It's a full-time degree, so we do expect you to be working through the week. Now, of course, traditionally, when I were a lad, which is a long, long time ago, we relied greatly on our local libraries, on the library at UCBC, and the idea was we'd come along, we'd research, we'd take books off the shelves, we'd read up on the subjects each week that we were being taught. But things are slightly different now, we've all got busy lives. And although we are expected to, to read through books for all of the modules, and to be studying away and getting the gist of what we're learning, we've tried to make this a lot more easy for you. Um, you may or may not yet have been introduced to the My Moodle, which you can access from university or from home, through your computer or through your phone. And that's your virtual learning environment. In other words, that's a place where we put all the learning materials for all the modules you're studying. You log in by putting your username which, and your password, which you'll have been given when you enrol at UCBC. And pressing the login button takes us into the site pages you been shown or you will be shown how to get to the various modules and within each module especially the two I'm running each week there will be weekly meditations to look up and think about there will be printed resources to think about there will be reading guides to help you choose which readings might interest you and there will be other things available to you uh, copies of things posted after each Wednesday, which you can download and put in your file as a resource for learning. Luckily, you don't have to be in the library at UCBC to, to use all these, because nowadays with computer technology, it's possible to give you everything you need, or to have it available to you. So one way is through the um, virtual learning environment, a lot of the written material that I'm going to give you is available up in the air. Up in the air? Well, it's available in the cloud. In other words, I've lodged it on a website that you can access and you can download stuff from the website to your own personal computer. I'll explain in class why the, the structure is like this. So. I'm going to want you to Google this thing, Dropbox. It's a free service and it will let you access and download stuff that I've put in the web for you. So you find Dropbox, you <coughs> download it by going to a screen that says Drop, download Dropbox. You can either download it if you've got a Macintosh here or you can click here on Windows and download it onto your Windows computer. Now if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, I'm sure you've got a friend, a neighbour, a relation, a sibling, a child who's much better at the computer than probably we are. Let's um, also remind you that there's a tour that you can go to. Here. And on this screen page, you can go through the Dropbox tour and find out what it is, how it runs, and what you do with it. So, 
What I'd like you to do, either now whilst we're watching this in class, if we're watching it in class, or if you're at home, please email me your name, your UCBC email address, and your own personal email address to this is my email, ian.townsend at yahoo.co.uk. Because once I receive that information from you, I will send you out an email inviting you into my Dropbox area so that you can log into it and download the materials to your computer. You'll get an email and then following the instructions on the email you'll be able to download the contents to your computer. Please do that as soon as you can. So what am I talking about? Um, when you go into the Introducing Person-Centered Practice Resources for 2012 folder in Dropbox, you'll be given instructions about how to download the whole lot in one foul swoop uh, in a zip file which will then install itself in your computer. Then you need to look at the README first, Accessing Resources file and I'm going to take you through what's in all these different folders here. So let's go and have a look and see what's in each one. Here's the re README first accessing resources PDF which you should bring up on your screen and read. There's an about the assignment folder which contains lots of information about your assignment. Don't bother looking at that uh, right now because we will go into it in detail a couple of times in class. So what else have you got? About those readings takes you to a, a couple of papers explaining the readings and then you've got a folder articles and you can see down here are more folders induction week one, induction week two week 3, week 4, all the way through to week 18. So if we go into one of these, we're going into induction week 2, you can see that there you'll be able to access two articles, one by Hugh Clark and one by uh, Mr. McLeod, can't remember his surname now. If we look at Mr. Clark, what you've got there is you've got Hugh Clark's article on creative personal journaling which is available for you to read. If we go into, say, week five, you'll find there's four articles here for you to, to choose from to read in week five. If you go into Bernard there, again, up it brings an article by a very well-known counsellor, Philip Bernard. Module documents, there's um, the module handbook, the weekly overview of how things are going to pan out, other information for you. If we look at the weekly handbook there, you'll pull up something like this and you'll be able to read the handbook for the course, for the course module. There will be a separate movie on this, so I'll explain more in detail about that there. And then you've got all these reading guides for each week, and the idea of these is that each reading guide um, gives you information. The module reading chart takes you through the 15, 18 weeks of the module. And each reading guide gives a description from me about what the readings are for that week. Here's week two, induction two, um, introducing you to two articles on keeping a journal. I've written a bit about each. You can, if you want, read my introduction and then decide whether you'd go to read Clark or whether you'd go to read McLeod. There's a folder with weekly meditations. Here's the one for the first week. If we click on that, just a short paragraph. A cup is like the mind. When it's already full, no more will go in. If we're going to learn anything, we must first empty our minds. It is our own emptiness which begins the therapeutic process. And that's um, 
a quote from a book called Zen Therapy. Um, the idea with this quote is you, you have it in mind as you go through the week, as you think about coming to class next week. What's this going to do with the, uh, the purpose of what we're studying? What's this going to do with being a counsellor? And then the various movies that I'm making, including this one, will come up here um, in the folder Moodle Movies. So to remind you, please email your name, your UCBC email address, and your own email address to me, iantownsend at yahoo.co.uk. There's only one dot here. That's a typo. And I'll look forward to providing you with all the information you need to succeed in this module. Thanks for spending the time with me watching this.